Hey everyone, my name is Whitney. This is my YouTube channel, Whit Makes, where I talk about the clothes that I knit and I sew. So today I have a little bit of a vlog for you. Confession, I tried to film a vlog yesterday, like a day in the life. I'm not good at those. I'm not good at filming those. I don't like, <laughs> I don't know. I like some, I like vlogs where they're talking about making. Like they can be like real life stuff, but I like when there's like the focus on knitting or sewing, right? And so I tried to do that yesterday. It was just kind of a mess. And then I was editing it and I was like, Lord, I'm bored by this. Like why, would, what's happening? So I'm going to try again today and we're just going to condense it <laughs> because it is 12, almost 1230. I have an hour and a half till I go get my youngest from school. And I've done all the things this morning. I've done all the adulting, all the errands, um, not all the cleaning. I still need to do some of that when I uh, get back from getting my son. But I have an hour and a half of just time for myself. I have my delicious tapache. This is the grapefruit wine. It's delicious. I have a few nerd clusters. So that means it's time to sew. So I'm going to take you along as I work on these two projects and show you what I'm up to. So let's try it. Let's try a little making vlog. I have like, how fun would it be to film Vlogtober, to have vlogs every day in October? Like in my head, I'm like, this would be so fun. <laughs> but after trying to do a vlog yesterday, I'm like, ugh. I'm not good at that. I don't like, my life is really boring. <laughs> I'm not, I don't have any fancy cameras and like to film stuff. <sighs> but maybe we could do something. We'll see how this goes. Maybe we could do something where it's just like what I'm working on every day in October. Like that's my blogtober. I don't really want to put my kids on the internet. These are all my conundrums. So here we go. We're gonna practice today. Let me show you what I'm wearing first of all because I took a shower, my hair is still drying. I'm trying not to touch the curls so they'll dry, but I don't know what's quite going on up there. Okay, but I got dressed because <laughs> I had to run a bunch of errands today. So I am wearing, let's put you right here because I like this, I like this outfit. It's all, well, the pants are hit. So these are my Pietra pants. These are my wide leg. Wide leg, the wider leg version that I made in this tinsel, um, I think it's just a tinsel fabric that I, these are some of my favorite pairs, pair of pants. Love them. The fabric's holding up okay. Um, they're getting a little faded, but it kind of works with like the rose, the dusty rose color. And then this top was like a little swingy short dress that I got at the thrift store because I love the color and it's rib knit and I just chopped it off and you can even see as I zoomed in I should fix that but <laughs> I didn't even crop it I mean him it I just chopped it off and it's like swingy should probably make sure it's nice and even there before I show it on camera but who cares okay so that's what I'm wearing today I love the colors going on and let me show you what I'm working on so first I finished my Protea pants yesterday. Oh, I love these. Love them. But I need to, there's strings everywhere. You baste these seams. So I unpicked that, obviously, and like I need to clean all that up. I need to give a good press to my hand stitched hem. Get these all pressed so that later, maybe this week, maybe tomorrow, I can take some pictures in them. Um, these are fantastic. So I would like to do the finishings on those and then I have two knit tops Ooh, cut out and ready to go I have my Tyra tank from Just Patterns and then I have my Bloma tank from Paradise Patterns so those are my three things I would like to get done in an hour and a half I have some knitting um what am I doing today oh I'm working on my socks <clears throat> Hold on, I got half the stuff everywhere. I need to get together. I, oh, let me go get them because I, hold on. Hold, okay. So I am 
knitting on a pair of Halloween socks for my son. And then I'll make a pair for my daughter. Yeah, for my daughter. And I am knitting these socks, not two at a time, but like in tandem, I guess. So I cast on and I did the cuff over the weekend. And then today, look at how fantastic this looks. Today I would like to do the three stripes on each sock. So obviously I have one more stripe to go on this and then I'll do the other pair. So this yarn is by Nanette Wake. And it's called Gummy Bear. So this is the Totally Rad Ribbed Sock by Summer Lee Designs. This is what, and there's a lot of different options. I'm doing, obviously I did more ribbing. I'm doing the ribbed cuff, the stripes, and then it's ribbed and then it's stockinette. So I love this pattern. I made it before. One of my first sock patterns actually, and I made it a little too small. So this one, I plan on making really tall. So they're almost like little athletic socks for him. And Yes, so this week I would like to get to the heel and maybe do the heels over the weekend. So once I get the stripes done, it's just ribbing and I can just go, 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 go. But love that yarn. So that's my other project I wanna work on today. But I save my knitting, well not always, but I, I can knit when my son's home um, very easily. I cannot sew very easily when he's home. So let's get that going. And then I do want to cast on my Farnham shirt. And I am soaking my Rhoda top. I finished that. So that is soaking because it actually looked really good right off the needles. But the ribbing was just up at the base. Um, it has a split hem. And I just think blocking that out will be really nice. And I went ahead and threw in my um, Sailor Swift top to, I wanted to try blocking that and see how much it changed it. The cotton, 100% cotton yarn. It might not change it much. Might not make that much of a difference. Might make a huge difference. We shall see. All right, so I have a mess going on here that I need to clean up. <laughs> And I'm going to put in a new needle and just stretch needle. Universal, universal jeans. Oh, here we go. Stretch. I need to go buy some more needles at Joanne. I was looking at my kids' um, pajamas. I made them fall pajamas last year, which they all wore to death. But my daughter still wears hers and they're like way too short. So I'm thinking I might make a Joanne trip next week so I could get some thread, I mean some needles and maybe see what, cause you know, they have like all the fall and Halloween fabric that I never really, like it's so cute, but I never know what to do with it but I could make them some more pajamas. Um, anyway, so let's put that puppy in. I just use my regular sewing machine when I sew with knits. I do not have a serger, so that's why I don't use it. I'm like, I don't use my serger because it doesn't exist. <laughs> um, and I usually use a zigzag stitch well, sometimes it depends on what the pattern is, but anything where it's going to be pulling, like the shoulder seams, I'll use a zigzag, the neck bands, but sometimes on the hem, I just do a little bit longer, and sometimes even on the side, I just do a little bit longer of a stitch, and that usually works well, but I play around with it and see, you know. All right, I'm gonna get out, I have my computer right here. I, the Tyra T is just a basic t-shirt, so I don't need, they're both pretty easy, but I still like to have my instructions out to make sure I'm doing everything correctly. We're gonna put the hair up loosely. I wish I had a clip down here. <laughs> Since it's not completely dry. 
my curly girls will understand. I, this is by Just Patterns. <clears throat> this is the only pattern I've made from them. I think they have a really cute vest pattern that I admit I've had my eye on, but the instructions are really nice. I was just looking and they kind of do, before the pattern, they do an order of instructions. So they're order of construction. <laughs> so there are nine steps. So it tells you what order you're going in. It's laid out really nicely and what seam you're going to use and what your seam allowance is. This is cute. I don't know if I noticed that last time. All right, let's do a time lapse and see how we get on. Okay, it is now almost 1.15. This actually took me maybe 20 minutes to sew. But then I got to chatting with my friend. <laughs> and we're talking, she is a new knitter. And we're talking about knitting something together, like starting the new year, like a 2024 cast on. And do, she's very new, so doing like a scarf or a shawl or something. And also, she's new, she's made scarves. This is fantastic. I need to press everything. I didn't press as I was going, but I'll press all my seams. I need to do the neckband. This fabric is so dreamy. I believe it's a bamboo. I will link everything that I'm blabbing about in the description box. So anyway, we were looking at Ravelry and I got distracted. And now I'm looking at Andrea Mallory's new <sighs> Weekender Crew. And I immediately want to cast this on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, so in this pattern, you have to measure the neckline and then cut it out yourself, which I used to really hate when I was new to sewing with knits, but now, now that I understand um, like each fabric, the different properties, I wish I had some ribbing, but I don't. That is in the same color. This is kind of an ivory. I have a bright white, but I put it up next to it and I didn't like that. So I'm going to measure and cut this out, change my thread, and then we'll try the Bloma. Anyway, I am obsessed with this Weekender crew, but let's put that away. I need to focus. Okay, I'm a little annoyed. The fit on this is fantastic. I love this. I did, so they actually have recommended neckband sizes. And, but then they also have a formula and I did the formula and they're doing 85% of your neckband plus seam allowance, right? And I just don't know, I think it's like a hair too. And it was smaller than the recommended. Looking from this angle though, I feel like it's fine. It is a little bit higher neck than I remember. And part of me really wants to cut it out, but also this is very wearable. <sighs> Maybe it's fine. But do you see, I have a little bit of pulling. I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna leave it. I think it's fine. It's a white t-shirt, right? I haven't pressed it yet either, so I think I'm going to leave it. I actually love it with these pants. <laughs> um, all right, let me change the thread. It's 1.30. I have just been <sighs> taking my sweet time here at sea, but I don't like it. Mm. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? Because I want this... I love everything else about, I like where it fits. I like the length, I like the fabric. <sighs> I'm going to recut, I'm gonna cut it just a little bit lower. And I'm gonna redo this neckline. So I probably will not get to the Bloma tank, but I'm gonna get this shirt 
done right because I'm too old. I've been doing this too long to have a neckline that I don't love. So besides it being too small, I think it's just a little too high. All right, let's do it. Okay, I fixed it. Ow! And I'm so happy that I did. Um, it is like maybe a little wider than in my mind, but I think it works with how drapey and like, I love this. So when I make this t-shirt again, I think on the pattern piece, I will change because even if it was just like a little bit, you know what I mean? But that looks so much better. I'm so glad I fixed it. And if I didn't mess up my newly washed hair here, um, I got to here on the Bloma tank. This took me 10 minutes to get to here. So I just need to do the arm and the hem. Oh, this is really long. Love that. Ooh, love it with this. So it, I have five minutes and I'm going to go pick up my son from school. And then I bet I can finish this even with him and clean up my proteas. And what I'm going to do is I will film. I'm not going to chat anymore though, but I'll film and show you anything else that I get to work on today. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I actually was getting some great ideas about what I want to do in October. So I'll share that as I kind of flesh that out and think about it as we get to October. For what I can do for Vlogtober, that's not like, I just, you know, people that do the daily vlogs well, gosh, that must take a lot of work because it's, a, it's real. It's a real skill there. And I just... I don't know. It doesn't feel like me. So I'm going to figure out what feels like me and what I want to share here. But today we're going to, we finish this. We're going to finish this and then I'll have my proteas all done. So I'll, I'll put those on too, because I feel like they're going to look really cute with this. And don't you love this color? Love it. And then guys, I might buy that new Andrea Mallory pattern, the crew neck weekender and like cast it on very soon. <laughs> So this took me a little longer than expected, mainly because I was chatting with my friend, but chatting with a crafty friend is never like a waste of time. You might spend more money, <laughs> but it's never a waste of time. Um, and if you can think of a fun, she said she doesn't, we were just talking again. She doesn't want a big shawl. She doesn't think she'll wear that. Some kind of cowl or scarf or I even told her, I was like, that weekender would be fun to do together. But we're thinking something a little smaller um, that a, for a beginner that isn't just like garter stitch. So she sent me a couple um, and I'll share when we decide what we're going to do. But if you have a great pattern or maybe even like kind of like a scrappy or different colors, some different textures, I think she could totally, I don't know. But you know, I could show her how to do cables, like just a little bit, not like a ton. Or I, I, I don't want to be like she can't do. It. I feel like she could do some brioche or something, but maybe not like all over. Let me know your thoughts. Okay, thanks for following along. I'll be back next week with a knitting podcast, and um, yeah, just a reminder to take the time and fix it immediately. <laughs> Otherwise, it ends up, see, I love this. I love this. Otherwise, it ends up in your pile of things to be fixed that take forever. But it took me 10 minutes to get that neckline right. And I'm really glad I did. Okay, I will see you guys next week.